Boo! Did I spook you? Because that's what we are doing today. Today, I am going to be looking at the Mandela Catalog. There have been a lot of spooky things that have gone around on the internet as of since forever. In retrospect, I think a fear of lanky men seems pretty consistent, which is weird. But the Mandela Catalog is found right here on YouTube. I, I haven't watched any of these. I know that these are unsettling, so that is why I'm watching them. Let's imbue ourselves with fear! I mean, I guess, I guess we'll start with the very first one. Might as well, right? Don't be afraid. I bring good news of great joy for you Definitely. and all people. Tonight, your savior was born in Davidstown. He is Christ, the Lord. Why are you we talking about Jesus now? Lying in a manger. They they have ascended. <laughs> ah, yes. Rejoice. The most I bet you, there was a woman that gave Mary, who lived in the city of Nazareth. She was in love with a man named Joseph. Mary was a man of her kids, yes. but she got a very special message from an angel named. I am the, a the angel Gabriel. I've come to bring good news. Gabriel was a cute. News? For me? Whatever God wants, I will do. I will fool the shepherds. I will know their greatest fear. I will know your greatest fear. Wake up, Joseph. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Why are you bent? I was expecting a jump scare. <laughs> I am your true savior. I know everything about what makes you human. I know what you love. I know what you dread. Don't like that. I, I, I really don't. Who's breathing? We are on the moon! No, there's grass. We're fine. Deceived who? <laughs> it just fucking ends. That was pretty good. Yeah, the face at the end. God, I hated that. The ending just made me laugh, not gonna lie. The text section was a little... Eh. I mean, like, it was... Oh, it wasn't written poorly. It was written alright, but... I, I don't feel like that sort of storytelling fits with this sort of narrative. However, the think principle right here, I think might prove me wrong. Cause I think I might know this one. We are currently receiving countless reports of an unidentified hostile organism that we'll refer to as alternates. 
Yeah. Until we have a complete understanding of the threat, it's important to stay home, lock all doors and windows, and have access to a loaded firearm or any ranged weapon at all times. You I know this know, one, but I'm gonna let it play. If an alternate exists solely based on their physical characteristics, if you see another person that looks identical to you, run away and hide. If you see a person that has a biologically impossible characteristic, run away and hide. If one manages to break into your home, refrain from any kind of communication or contact with the threat. These intelligent life forms utilize elements of psychological warfare to take advantage of their victims. While we heavily discourage any form of contact or communication with an alternate, we make exceptions for attempts at executing them yourself. I like how much it prefaces, just do not engage with them, period, unless you are trying to murder them. Oh. Okay, this one makes a bit more sense now. Uh, yeah, I remember you. Uncomfy. <laughs> ah, it's really good. Man, this, uh, that image has been used a lot, huh? Is that image even used in the Mandela Catalog? I don't know. And here's where we get into the meat of it. Mandela Catalog Volume 1. Oh, is this a compilation? Does this have the previous one? Yeah, this seems to be the same. Ah, yes. Of course. The classic doppelganger. Oh, is this different? This looks new. Victim 1 and 2. Hey, it's Caesar. I hope it's not too late. No, it's fine. Don't worry. What's up? Are you alright? Yeah, it's not me. It's my mom. She's <laughs> yeah. Fuck. She's knocked out cold and I have no idea why. I'm on my way to the ER, but could you do me a favor? Yeah, of course. What is it? Uh, I just need you to come over and turn on the cameras we have set up. You know the ones that we installed after we were robbed? Oh, yeah. Would you mind if I asked why? Well, she screamed really loud right before I found her on the ground. I... I just... Well, do you have your doors and windows locked? Like what the broadcast told us to do? Yeah, that's the weird part. Maybe she saw something? I don't... I don't know. Alright. I mean, it shouldn't be too bad. I'm just gonna switch them on and get out of there, though. You know how I feel about your house. Yeah, that's fine. One last thing. Try to get a good... What's your house room. like? Uh, okay. Alright, I gotta okay. go. I'm almost at the hospital. Thank you. We're fine. Is that implying that he's an alternate, or is Grandmama an alternate? Or is there an alternate that's just hiding in the house? Welcome to the Abyss Highway. There's fucking nothing. Now it's the dark. Is this the back hallway? Oh, he, he went over. He's turning on the cameras now. I get it. Okay. He left. Did he actually leave? Uh, hi, bud.
Oh, is that something? Thought I saw something, but I could be wrong though. Okay. I'm sorry for laughing, but, uh, that face, <laughs> he, he's so angry. Followed me home, Caesar. That would be terrifying if you heard someone glitching. Like, imagine just, like, standard Discord lag. Imagine if somebody did that in person, right in front of you, and were twitching as they did it. God, that would be horrifying. You fucking bastard! Okay! What did you do? Ah. Hello. I have seen you in many thumbnails. Goodbye. Okay, but does the black box over your head indicate that you're an alternate, or...? The following footage is illegal. Okay, why? Okay, that's why. Oh boy. Station. A situation may occur where the local 911 dispatchers run out of operators to handle calls, so they are given to us instead. There are three, and only three, scenarios that you will handle with a caller. When a caller needs the police, send available personnel to the address. Okay, pretty straightforward. When the caller has a fire-related emergency, contact our neighboring fire department with the address and a brief description of the event. Yep, makes sense. When the caller has a medical emergency, immediately contact the Mandela Community Hospital. <laughs> Here at the Mandela County Police Department, we thank you for viewing this instruction. Encounter. Just ignore them. Pretend alternates do not exist. They will, they will. It's the best way to deal with them. Nothing is worth the risk. Nothing is worth the risk. Nothing is worth the risk. No. Two, baby. Okay. These seem like acceptable tests so far, but it's about to get horrible, I'm sure. It's a bit more abstract. Daddy didn't tuck me in. And there was a man in the closet. Hmm. 
The Scary Night by Mark, age four. Wait. Yep, that's beautifully drawn. What a wonderful artistic representation. The man in the corner? I'm in the corner. Ah. <laughs> it's death, but he's got a smiley face. You got you got a smiley you got a the button nose. Section two. Oh boy, here we go. Got more. Oh, we're still recording responses. At a family. A balloon. Spooky hallway. And there's the knocker. Ah, it's the man. <laughs> right. An intruder. This seems like a surreal meme. You know, I, I have never seen the Mandela catalog before. That's... It's good. It's pretty okay. Uh, it's it does some of the generic stuff in the way it is spooky. I can say I can say safely that I was one hundred percent unsettled by the angel smile. Still more than anything. Where is that? That like for some reason, just I I was not ready for it in the slightest to do something like this and. That really caught me off guard. Unfortunately, I am all out of time for this episode, so we're gonna have to finish this off in another video. Anyway, this this has been uh, thoroughly entertaining. You yeah, have a good day. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed as much as I did.